tell me to tell you that she's still holding out for that dance? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the second last episode of The Originals. Today we'll be watching The Tale of Two Wolves. I know I have been rushing a little bit in the outros like I've not been able to like again it's sort of like Vampire Diaries I've not been able to take my time to just explain what I've watched but it's just the emotions were so much that I'm not able to talk and it's gonna be like this again for this episode and definitely for the finale so definitely I mean in the finale I'm gonna definitely talk about stuff but um not as much as how I would expect it to be because it's just I, I just want to enjoy what I watched and I guess the the entirety of the episode can speak for itself and just be like okay this is what this episode was now it's just reflecting on what happened and moving on to the next episode that's the mentality I'm sort of uh, taking it on and uh yeah here we are I guess and we are almost to the end and I'm not sure how exactly it's gonna end but all I know is that the that the hollow's power is draining hope as we see the current like the next two episodes and it's going to affect her in a way where she she's going to die but i'm pretty sure it's not going to happen only because well spoiler like a lot for my own self like legacies is there so she survives that and i'm assuming legacies is i guess after the originals if i'm not wrong because i've been told that you have to watch legacies after the originals because in timeline wise it occurs after the originals time period so i guess it's sort of like i've spoiled myself in that aspect knowing that she will be safe but how she is surviving this you know that power in her is something i'm gonna have to like find out in this two episodes so let's not wait any further let's just get right to it i don't accept that look i love that kid it's because I love her that I am telling you. There is no miracle fix here. Now, she might have had a little more time, but she's about to experience her first full moon since she triggered her curse. Every witch that we consulted is sure that she won't survive the night. The more you speak with Freya, she will perform a binding spell. That's the solution. A spell that powerful would only kill her faster. You're telling me there is no hope for hope? This is terminal, Elijah. You won't accept it. She's dying, Elijah. Wouldn't it be better for you to find someone hope despises a little less than me? Perhaps quite literally anyone else she's ever met. How hope feels about you is of no consequence. I happen to the crest of the full moon to save her life. And that's a smart plan. You're the only one I trust. That's a smart plan going to the Salvatore school because they will have every single research about what's going on. Even though she's first of her kind. Education is our first priority, obviously. We've sent students to the Ivy League, to Silicon Valley. Of course, if you're looking for a more unique course of study. Are those you girls? Keep the hybrids. And the roots, Sarah. Excuse me, I just need one minute with this very lost new janitor. I need your help. Caroline, hope is dying. She consumed the dark magic and now it's consuming her. She won't survive tonight's full moon. She triggered her curse? It was my fault. I need a very rare type of witch. From the Gemini coven. You can't be serious. I need your daughters, Caroline. Dad is the villain and you're the evil henchman. From one very biased perspective. Yeah, well, I uh, got a second opinion. Yeah, well, you know what would really make me feel better? Is spending the day with, like... Anyone else? I know a place in town does a disturbingly decadent burger list to death. I'm not hungry. Fine. You're gonna have a milkshake. So, after they siphon it from hope, what are they supposed to do with it? You can't just shove a demon in a jar and put what it in What about in a totem? Like. They'll put it in me. What? Do you remember when you and your friends threatened to chain me up, drown me in cement, and drop me in the deepest ocean? Yes. Well, when your daughters have put the magic in me, I need you to make good on that threat. Caroline, I'm begging you. 
If you're here to tell me that my dad has a heart of gold, this is probably the worst thought, considering that there's a plaque inside near the dartboard for some woman that he killed in a moonstone ritual. Father was incessantly painting back in those days, mixing, searching for brighter reds for deeper blues. He used to wake me in the middle of the night from a small branch. He took that branch. He struck my brother across the face. Niklaus begged me to run away with him, but I told him that I would never leave Rebecca and call it the mercy of Michael. Uh, this is my uncle. Nice to meet you, Mr. Marshall. So, Hope, you haven't been around much lately. Oh, yeah, there's some stuff back at home. Uh, actually, there's, a. Um... There's music in the square tonight. I mean, they do it all the time, but tonight there's this kind of bluesy vibe, and I thought maybe... Oh, Landon, I, I can't tonight. I have a thing. No, I think so, for asking. And for the milkshake. This is extra awkward for me and Elijah. <laughs> and you. Ah! <laughs> Why didn't you? Because I'm gonna be dead soon. So... She knows. And Mr. Michelson is going to explain exactly what he needs you to do very clearly and kindly. It's Rick on board. A hint of a temper of frustration. Thank you. <laughs> Dad? Oh my fucking head. Whatever the hell's going on here? No. We don't believe that you'll be strong enough to handle the full moon. It's only every bone in my body breaking all at once. Listen, Father is searching for a cure. Even as we speak, we will not allow anything to happen to you. That's negative seven bucks for the poor service that we received. <laughs> this reminds me of like a movie scene, this exact, that full thing. It's you I can cool off down here until I get you a thousand miles away from my daughters. about all the crazy things that led to me being born dad lives a thousand years does weird ritual to become the only vampire who can procreate dad got sad and drunk okay. had a one-nighter with mom who was basically to. hate banging him we, honestly then, boom loophole yeah. miracle baby this family's fought tooth and nail to keep you alive from the moment we learned of your existence i know but the universe has been trying to kill me since before i was born but I knew when I got the power back that I might die. Why do you suppose that your friend Landon didn't fight back? He has to keep his job. He has to keep his job. We, however, have nothing to lose. You do understand, I could compel these idiots to do just about anything you want. You're reckless with your energy. If I die and drop a it'll be worth it. You have to conserve your strength. Relax, I'll be fine. these kids hope is one of them and she's in trouble we can't just turn our back on her he still clouds your judgment that's our judgment what do you want about and i want to help hope of course i do but we can't call another witch use one of the teachers bonnie this is not something that bonnie can do our girls can all right, fine, let's just pretend for one insane moment that you have reason enough to believe that that's true now. You think that's going to stick? Klaus? Alaric's right. The ocean won't hold me. Relax. But when I've transferred the hollow's magic out of hope, I don't intend to drown it. What is that? This is the last remaining white oak stake. What the, what the fuck are you on about? Someone needs to kill me. I will fucking kill you through the screen. I swear. I, I don't care. I will kill you before you find a way to kill yourself. Caroline. Don't. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Did you think that I wouldn't let you go through with it? Well, perhaps I didn't want to know either way. Where do you even get a white oak stake? I was going to destroy it. But the weight of immortality was heavier then. Somewhere written in some forgotten language, in some city lost in lava, likely lies buried the secret to having everything I want, all at once. I'm going to convince Rick to let our girls help you out with this. Because you are being a good father. And you 
you're being a good person and how could I tell you not to do that when that is all that I have ever oh, this would be so much easier if you just stayed the big bad I can feel it she just told my dad to stop looking for a Hail Mary. He's gone through enough torment. You are the reason that his life of torment has not been in vain. Now, if you're not going to fight for yourself, you will fight for him. I don't want to fight anymore. The man in the church was not your fault. I'm talking about my mom. Your mother was not your fault. If anything, it was mine. You blame me. That's what I tried. No matter how I look at it, it's my responsibility. I've spent my entire life trying to get our family back together. And if anything, I, I ruined it, okay? I, I broke it. Oh, what's wrong? What is it? No, I'll be Are you really real? Huh? Is she dead? Oh, wake up. Get Caroline. Tell her to bring her girls. Go! Please come back to me. Go! I'm so sorry for everything that happened and I can't forgive myself. What you bad? What happened this year was about hatred and ugliness that was born long before you and long before me. I don't want to leave you here alone. I'm not alone. Jackson. Jackson's here. My parents. My peace will disappear. If I go back, am I ever going to see you again? Transformation in the Salzburg girls will be able to siphon the magic out of you. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Tonight. It's about you. When you were born, I declared that you would be the savior of this family. It wasn't fair. We should never have been your burden to bear. Alosia, I think that we were both born with responsibilities that we didn't deserve. She told me to tell you that she's still holding out for that dance. <sighs> Probably could have been just some weird part of my subconscious, but... Either way, it's nice to have a good dream. I haven't had one in a while. I thought you had to be somewhere. Yeah, actually, it turns out I'm going to be here for a little bit. I'm in school behind the Iron Gates as I want their fancy students hanging out with Downey Riffraff too late. Shocking. I like him. Years ago, when the girls were really little, I was scared. I just, I put the girls in the car and I drove. Oh. And I ended up in New Orleans. A part of me has always known that you weren't the villain of my story. Fuck off, Caroline. Watch my daughter dance with a townie. Don't die. I don't think I can take it. If you get scared, all you have to do is close your eyes. Not the same. Yeah, I know. I'll be okay. I'll see you after. The Salzman girls have made a siphon tonic. Burdened you enough, your daughter needs you to close. I'm not gonna kill you! Dad, what's going on? You shouldn't do this inside. Your mother would have wanted you to be out here in nature under the moonlight. Here, drink this. This is going to hurt. 
So you need to concentrate on the air in your lungs and the ground beneath you. Ah, Dad! The first time it could take hours. Hours? If you fight it. The pain will make you want to delay because you think that's all you can take. But if you let it in, if you allow it to swallow you whole, then it cannot break you. Look at the waves. Looking up. Where's ah. ah. Caroline? She just couldn't watch you die. <laughs> Not, this is too much. The one thing I took from this is when I mean two things, three things. Oh, this whole fucking episode actually. The way that we know that Haley is at peace and. She's with Jackson and with her crescent wolves. Everyone are at peace. And Hope was able to meet her. Second, when Hope said that to save the dance, like Haley said that to save that dance, naturally Hope doesn't know what she's talking about, but because we've seen that, and she told it to Elijah. And third, we saw how Klaus's father was not, like, how his first transformation was for Klaus. And when you compare it to how he's there for his daughter, mad. Fucking family. It's just too emotional. I'm taking it to heart because of, you know, the meaning of family. It makes so much of, like, you know, the, the, the importance of being together with, with the ones that you love. Oh, it's hard, man. And I'm, this entire season has made me miss my family so much. Seriously. Which is why I'm like, I'm not able to, like, stop. And, and, and I, of course, and like, 20% is because... 80% is my love for the fam my family and 20% be also because of the show. It's like coming to an end and I definitely don't want it to end. <laughs> but we have to go in and see how we end this. But yeah. Finale. Thank you so much again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe and to wear a mask. To be safe for your friends and family. I'll see you in the finale. Bye guys.